We promise that you've never seen a family quite like this before. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top five surprising facts about the Fosters. Callie, this is Talia. She's gonna be staying with us for a while. Welcome to Anchor Beach. Thanks. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at some fun facts related to the hit TV series, The Fosters. And, and you know, if, if this is like too weird for you, I, I, I get that. Number five, many of the younger actors got their start with Disney. Breathe, connect, and you too. It's not uncommon for child actors to get their first big break in a Disney production. Be it on the Disney Channel, Disney Junior, or in a made-for-TV movie, the Walt Disney Company has provided hundreds, if not thousands of children, the opportunity to make it in the entertainment business. What is that? What? The song? Uh, I wrote it. However, the number of actors from the Fosters that have been in Disney productions is downright uncanny. David Lambert, Maya Mitchell, Hayden Byerly, Sierra Ramirez, and Jake T. Austin have all appeared at one point or another in Disney films or TV shows. Well, at least they had something to talk about during their first read-through. Number four, the set can be deceiving. You've got pretty hair. Thanks. TV sets are tricky. They have to be practical and realistic, two things that don't always mesh. The set where the Fosters is filmed is no exception. For example, the second floor hallway window isn't actually on the second floor, it's at ground level. And Mike Foster's apartment isn't on the other side of town, it's only a few feet away from the Foster's front porch. Also, whenever the cast and crew need to access Callie and Mariana's bedroom, they must first walk through Steph and Lena's shower. Oh, and you know all those framed photos hanging on the walls? Those are real photos supplied by the cast and crew. Number 3. Noah Centineo originally auditioned for Brandon Foster. What? Well, I just, I might have an idea. Noah Centineo, who took over the role of Jesus Adams Foster in season 3, after Jake T. Austin decided to focus on other projects, had originally campaigned for a more lucrative position on the show. As is typically the case, the lead role of Brandon Foster was highly coveted by a number of actors, but was ultimately given to David Lambert. Even if he didn't land the role, it's clear Centineo made a good impression during his audition, because showrunners Peter Page and Bradley Bredewig decided to cast him anyway. It just took a couple of years and a few left turns. Number 2. Jude was supposed to struggle with gender identity One character whose struggles with sexual orientation have been well documented is Jude. Throughout the first few seasons, he struggles to come to terms with the fact that he is gay, before finally accepting his sexuality. However, as far back as the pilot, the crumbs were there for the character to follow a transgendered path. What happened to your face? You in a fight? Um. In fact, the pilot episode hints at it when Callie tells Brandon she saved Jude from getting beaten when his foster father saw him wearing a dress. What a different character arc that would have been. Number 1. David Lambert never confirmed whether or not he played piano. The character of Brandon Foster, played by David Lambert, is a piano aficionado. From the very first episode, it is made abundantly clear that his primary goal in life is to excel at this particular instrument. As such, one would assume that casting an actor who is capable of playing the piano would be a top priority. Hey, so, um, that comic thing next weekend? However, during casting, David Lambert reportedly never disclosed whether or not he could actually play. Thankfully, Lambert turned out to be an excellent pianist, thus easing any concerns the producers may have had about whether or not they made the right decision. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.